I've always felt that buying in bulk is overrated. I also felt, I said to Marjorie this morning, when the car salesman says the price is only good oh, for boy. that day, oh, that boy. he's lying to you. What's your reflection on either of those? Uh, you probably haven't a chance to think about it. What do you think about those things? You pull two little uh, throwaway lines out yeah. of a uh, out of a uh, uh, out of a uh, long and profoundly boring speech, and uh, it was not I boring. I read the whole thing, but what very, was it? Tell people clever. what it was, Brian McGurry. You did not read. The I did whole read the whole did. thing. Yes, we did. Six. Good. What was it? What'd you do? Uh, I was I was invited. I was given this great honor this year. I was invited to give the commencement address at uh, Mount Ida College out in Newton, uh, and uh, I will tell you, it was uh, it was really quite something. Not the not the address. Uh, uh, the address was uh, purely uh, pedestrian. No, but, it wasn't. Uh, but go it ahead. Wasn't. The honor the honor of uh, uh, being brought out there. I knew very little about Mount Mount Ida, and uh, uh, it ends up that about forty percent of the graduating class is first generation college. That's great. But 35 percent of the kids uh, uh, offer, you know, some form of ethnic racial diversity. The joy that was under that tent on That's that great. day with those college graduates, graduating class of about 290 kids uh, uh, with uh, mostly bachelor degrees, uh, 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 some associate degrees, uh, uh, some masters, actually, was really, really yeah. something to behold. It was uh um, it was uh, just it, it was it was one of the great honors I've had to be able to participate in that. Well, you have a lot of great lines in this piece. One of them I like was, "Remember, the state police officer who's just pulled you to the side of the highway has never once in his career said to himself, huh, this driver yelling at me is yelling at me so hard, I should probably let him off.' That was a good one to give to a bunch of twenty-one-year-olds. And also, I love this one, Brian: embrace failure, but don't fail too much, or you will be branded well." A failure. <laughs> Another great line. But you also talked about finding great and wise mentors and leaning on them. I wondered, who were yours? Well, we have one of them on the other end of the line right here, <laughs> don't we, Marjorie? Uh... Well, of course. That goes without saying. That was so kind and truthful. It was really yeah. it was Thank beautiful. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, um, no, it was, look, uh, to, to, before I gave that speech, I spent an incredible amount of time watching prior commencement speeches. Um, <laughs> There have been some really great ones, really, really great ones. Uh, Conan O'Brien gave Oh, yeah, one, we're going to play uh, some of that at noon. It yeah. was fantastic. Um, uh, and there have been some uh, uh, pretty run-of-the-mill ones, and I think I was able to join that. Uh, I don't think, no, we read all uh, 16 minutes, 33 seconds of it, actually, Brian, in all seriousness. Was that how long it was? It was, and it was great. It yeah. was really great. Next, hey, Brian. Time, next time we have to discuss uh, Jim Browdy's wonderful Well, we'll do it at 12 o'clock. at uh, Fisher College. I'd stay haven't. tuned in if I were you. Brian, great <laughs> to talk to you. Brian McGorry, editor of the Globe. We Thank really appreciate it. it. See ya. Thank you very much. Up next, we're asking you guys about commencement addresses, everything from the best to worst advice that's out there for new graduates. That conversation is next on 89.7 WGBH, Boston Public Radio.